So today in the mail, I got my uh, GoTech uh, floppy disk drive emulator, and I need to put it in the machine. And it is a uh, three and a half inch form factor, so I need to put a uh, an adapter plate, uh, which I picked up at Micro Center, and uh, so that's going to go in. And also, I would need a front panel bezel to make it look pretty. I, I 3D printed one out. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. All right, so there's some jumpers on the back. Uh, you don't need any of the jumpers except for the one that tells whether you have drive A or drive B, and you need to set it to drive A. Um, so I need to move this one. Uh, it's got a funny power connector that is the newer ones. <laughs> anyway, so I need to wire in. A, a con I have found a connector on my junk bin that fits, so I'm going to wire that in. All right, so the next thing that's not compatible is the other floppy disk drives have edge connectors. And this one uses a, uh, a 100 mil center, you know, dual, two row DIN type connector or whatever those things are called. Um, and uh, so I, I, I bought a, a connector that I can crimp onto the existing cable. And now that uh, that's on, luckily the pinout is the same. The pinout, uh, uh, of the two rows of pins and the pinout of the edge connector are, are both the same. And it does power on, although the display is upside down, but I know that's a setting in the uh, configuration file, so I should be able to write that up. And it seems to work, so that's good news. All right, here we're in front of the machine. Uh, I, like I said, I need the, that this, this particular bezel I had doesn't doesn't work. If I snap, <laughs> snap, uh, you can kind of get the idea that I need to have a bezel here. So I'll I'll need to design one and 3D print it. That'll be easy. I did uh, change the configuration file. There's there's a, a direction command that you say rotate, and it makes the a little uh, little display right side up. All right. And then this is how you choose which floppy disk drive you want, okay? So the ones that I know are, uh, there's a tiny little counter down here on which file number you're on, okay? Um, what I've done is I, I've, uh, it, it takes them in alphabetical order, so uh, I put the numbers one, two, three at the beginning of the files to put them in the right order I'd like to see them. So this is the uh, K-Pro2 X boot disk. Uh, here's the scratch file. Here's the uh, K plus ROM boot file and scratch. And this is a, another boot that I found, which is a, a 2X boot file. And then I don't know what the rest of these are. So uh, we can come here to, currently I have the K plus, uh, K plus um, ROM in there. So if I try to boot off of the normal one, it, it uh, uh, complains here that I've got, uh, there's no system on it, right? All right, so I need to choose the correct boot file, uh, K, Pro, K plus boot. And then when I uh, boot that one, comes up and we have a working system. So I'm still in the process of learning uh, which formats and which files I can read and how to transfer files from, say, a PC into here. Um, all of those things are going to take some <laughs> take some time. I know a lot, a lot, a lot of people have uh, problems with this with the K-Pro. The K-Pro is quite unusual in how it handles its CPM, uh, and uh, yeah. So anyway, um, it, this one also should be able to read other formats. So MF. So that's why they continue to write additional BIOSes. So the K Plus was a, a company that made uh, a BIOS that you could purchase, and the Turbo ROM and some of the other ROMs you could purchase. Now this one seems to be able to write different uh, format disks, and so I would imagine be able to read them as well. Uh, so maybe I can transfer things from my Osborne. Uh, uh, but it says it should be able to read 
K-Pro single density, K-Pro double density, and K-Pro double density double sided, which is um, doesn't seem to be quite true. If I um, go here to some other, let's see, let me exit this thing, uh, return, let's see here, I'll just, I'll just go out of this, let's see here. Uh, reboot. It's nice to have the button on the front. That's why everybody moves that button out of the front. All right, so uh, I can do a directory on this drive. Now, if I choose some other one like that boot disk that it wouldn't do, uh, let's see if we can read that one. Now it does. It does. So it does read the the two x uh, file. So that's good. Uh, here is an older one also. Let's see if we can read that one. And it does. That's good. But then there's some ones here that it doesn't seem to be able to read. Let's see here. This one I'm very interested in getting to. This one. Let's see if we can read this one. Yeah, and I think this one, it's not going to be able to read. This is this is a supposedly a disc from an old K Pro 2, the original K Pro 2. Yeah, and see, it's just hung. It won't, it doesn't like to read that particular disc. So I don't really know what's going on. Let's go ahead and uh, get out of there. Maybe we can try another one. Like I said, some work, some don't. Um, Let's see here. K Pro 2s, I guess, don't work. Here's WordStar. Let's see if we can read that one. Yeah, it doesn't read all of the disks. So uh, I'm a bit confused, but not so much so because I, I've, <laughs> I've been online a lot in the K-Pro forums and stuff and everybody seems to have these problems. Uh, and kind of like you get lucky and then you kind of make your own infrastructure. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I am extremely happy that uh, it, it does boot K-Pro, oh, K-Pro Plus, there we go, this one. So I have tried booting with the original ROM, and if I change the uh, uh, the ROM boot, uh, I can I can I can boot off of this file, which is the KPro2x boot disk. So original ROM with original disk, it boots. That's good. Uh, KPro Plus BIOS with KPro Plus floppy, it boots. Uh, I was able to boot. Also with a turbo ROM, the turbo ROM seems to boot with various versions. Uh, so it's a little more uh, wide range, I guess. People, I, I'm not quite sure if the K plus is the best one. Some people say the K plus is the best one. Some people say the turbo is the best one. So I don't know yet, um, but I can try it now because I've, I've got my jumpers so that I can choose any boot ROM that I want. And I've got a knob here that I can choose any floppy that I want. So I am a happy camper. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, call this uh, 10 out of 10 uh, for this particular K-Pro series. It was from getting the machine to this stage, which is a working system where you have everything up and running. So I think that's a good, that's a good uh, 10 series. And then uh, it, from time to time, I'll do other things with the K-Pro, but uh, uh, I'll, I'll leave this at, uh, at uh, number 10 right now. So I hope you enjoyed it.